Hello there and welcome to the Card Grotto. Today I've got the new release from Clearly Passotti to share with you. All of these items will be available to purchase today. That's the 1st of September 2020 at 8 p.m. British summer time. You can purchase them from the Clearly Passotti shop and also from Simon Says Stamp. So as I usually do, I'm gonna share the new release with you and also the samples that I have made as a design team member. So first of all, this is the Happy campers set it is so adorable so as you can see you've got these four scenes kind of already made for you which is great because you don't need to do any masking or anything like that so the one here with the little bears with their kind of picnic and the tent there there's the mushrooms or the toadstools there with the tree box the little hedgehogs there with the mountains in the background uh, singing by the or you know with the guitar and singing with the oil lamp there and then also the cute little adorable squirrels with their uh, marshmallows and kind of sleeping under the stars and things like that just an absolutely adorable set lots of different sentiments in this set there's hi sing some little music notes let's go wild on your birthday happy campers let's make memories enjoy and happy days so you can definitely use this set for lots of different occasions i think and so this is the card that i made using that set i just fell in love with these cute little hedgehogs so i stamped those out first drew a faint line of with it like a pencil and then cut that out with a ruler and a craft knife so that that was all one layer and then that could be added on top of a card base and then on the card base I did some ink blending in the background there with distressed inks I did in some stars with a white gel pen stamped the sentiment there in the top as well obviously I fussy cut the edge there with scissors rather than a craft knife I wish I was that good with a craft knife sadly not uh, colored the images there um, with Copic markers and added that panel on with some foam tape to give it a bit of dimension. I really like how this card came out and again I think you could use it for lots of different occasions. Even just the card itself could um, be sent for different occasions which is great. Next up is the Creepy Corners, a really really cute set. So you've got lots of different images in this set. You've got two kind of large corner images with the pumpkins and the little bats and the spider there. There's also a separate little bat which I just think is adorable and then there's also a spider. Personally, I'm not keen on those animals, even just saying their name, I, I just don't like them. But this one is pretty cute, it's got a little smiley face. And then there's an extra little bat there with the candles and the pumpkin as well, an eyeball, some um, candy corn there as well, and then lots of different sentiments that you could kind of mix and match. So there's boo, yikes, eek, sorry to hear you're feeling frightful hope you feel better soon boo to you happy halloween exo and hey so i definitely think you could use this set other than halloween especially for people that just happen to really like sort of kind of like um you know bats and things like that and pumpkins and like autumn and sort of things like that i think that would work really nicely as well but obviously i think it works really well for halloween as well and so this is the card that I made using that set. I thought I'd keep it pretty quite simple with um, just as a simple Halloween um, card. So I stamped out the individual bat with the pumpkin and the candles there. Coloured that with Copic markers and fussy cut that out. The sentiment is from that set as well and I just heat embossed that um, with white embossing powder onto black cardstock. And then for the background I used a masking stencil, did some distress inking in the background and then I splattered on some Arteza gouache and I really quite like um, how that turned out for the kind of Halloween-ish sky in the background and I did use it on another card as well that same kind of technique and then I just added some little uh, Lucy's bubbles there around the sentiment as well Next up is the Ring Around Autumn set, a really beautiful set. There's this kind of large wreath image here and then there's the cute little animals that could be sitting on something. Um, I think actually I have this um, upside down, I do apologise for that. Um, I think the wreath probably looks better this way if you wanted the critters to be sitting on top of it but actually I think it would work well either way like with the acorns at the bottom and then the pumpkin at the top and you could have critters sitting at the top as well so I think it's very versatile there's lots of different sentiments in the set there is celebrate the little things 
thank you very much for everything you have been incredible love you thanks a lot xo thanks very much hugs thanks again and take good care and a little high there as well so you've got the little chick there or the kind of bird the squirrel and then i think this is like a chipmunk i'm not sure but it's adorable either way <laughs> and like i said you could have them on the wreath but you could actually use them separately as well if you wanted to and this is the card that I made using that set. I decided to add the little squirrel on top of the pumpkin and then uh, mask that off first and then stamped out the wreath on top. Coloured that with Copic markers and fussy cut that out. Just added it onto a craft card base and it's a bit difficult probably to see here on camera but I just added some scored lines. I quite like doing that when the base is just going to be really quite simple. Just as a kind of like a little extra something to the card and then the sentiment there is just white embossed on to black cardstock again so I quite like how this turned out and again I think you could use this um, kind of set for lots of different occasions as well obviously it's very autumnal but I think you could use it for like maybe Thanksgiving even um, if you're in America and just general kind of thanks cards autumn cards hello cards anything you wanted to Next up is the Balloon Bunch Halloween set. So like some of the other Balloon Bunch sets, there's these balloons here and you can have critters sort of hanging off of them, like flying in the sky. You've got like a moon one there on its own as well. And then all of these cute little kitties, like the one in the pumpkin there, the one flying on the broomstick, one sort of hanging would be from the balloons there, one with the witch's hat and the other witch's hat and that's got like the strings around his middle so you can have him or she sort of holding on with the balloons like that way. Just such a fun little set. There's extra little bats and spiders, <laughs> um, the little stars there and the candy corn loads of sentiments you're a scream enjoy yourself hello my little pumpkin Woo. eat drink and be scary think you're fabulous uh, treats please and then there's a boo there as well so again can be used for lots of different occasions i do think um, and then there's this kind of uh, landscape image here at the bottom with the kind of creepy gates and the creepy trees and the tombstone and things like that and so this is the card that I made using that set. I did the same kind of thing with the other Halloween card and I masked off a rectangle, did some distress inking in the background and then splattered on some gouache again and then stamped out that kind of landscape bottom there um, at the bottom of the rectangle and then um, added the um, cute little kitten there um, with the witch's hat and the broomstick so that she was flying in the sky with the little bats there as well coloured those with copic markers and fussy cut those out and then the sentiment here is from the uh, creepy corners stamp set um, i just thought it went quite well although i think like boo would kind of to me would be more sort of a ghost but actually it is kind of like Halloween because you'd say boo um, if you were dressed as a witch or anything like that as well so I thought it went quite nicely together. Next up is the Fall Fun set, so another autumn, autumnal set, but I think you could use it as well for Halloween if you wanted to. So there's all these adorable hippos here, one inside the kind of thing of leaves there. You've got leaves separately that the hippo could be jumping in the leaves two kind of jumping hippos there one with the pumpkin one is like frankenstein one dressed up as a spider and one dressed up with a pumpkin and then you've got the pumpkin images here and then also some kind of like flying leaves which is really good great for sort of scene making tons of sentiments again there's hey hello fall autumn boo let's jump for joy fallen for you hi xo i have and let's pile on the fun so again I think can be used for lots of different occasions. I decided to make a kind of little tag here for what would be kind of like a trick or treater sort of bag of little candy or sweets there. Just added those in a glassine bag. And then for the tag, I used the clearly besotted tag along set, cut that out a couple of times, 
cut a circle out of the top layer here, added some pattern paper in the background, stamped out the little um, pumpkin hippo there because I just thought he was absolutely adorable, coloured him in with Copic markers and fussy cut him out and then as I say just added the tag onto the little treat bag there. The sentiment is from the next set that I'm going to share with you. And this is the Treats Please stamp set. So you've got a great kind of scene building set again, but again, you could definitely use a lot of the images on their own as well. So there's the kind of front door here that's dressed up for Halloween with the bat and the spider webs and things like that, and the kind of bunting on the top. And then there's all these trick or treaters. So it's like the ghost there, the little cat with the pumpkin the bear dressed up as a mummy which is adorable they're kind of like little ghosty there as well the dog and the little bunny there there is some balloons that they can be holding as well and they've all got like the little treat um I don't know what you would call them like the little treat bowls that you would have to put the trick or treat treats in as well which is really cute extra kind of like cauldron and the eyes and the candy corn the skull there and the pumpkin and then again some great sentiments witching you nothing but treats treats only which is a sentiment that I used on my treat bag there the woo trick or treat and always listen to your mummy or else oh and scared uh, dare to scare excuse me so yeah just a really really fun set that can be used in lots of different ways I didn't create an actual sample with this set I apologize I've run out of time but I think these little trick or treaters obviously would look really great with the door there you kind of dress it up as a fun Halloween card you could definitely add these onto tags as well which I think would be really good similar to what I did with the treat bag as I think that they would work obviously with the little trick or treaters. So that was a look at the September release from Clearly Besotted. Links to the products will be in the description bar on YouTube and also over on my blog. I would love to hear your thoughts on the release. I had a lot of fun making my samples this month as I usually do every month anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.